From an interview with Drew Barrymore that made him get up and almost leave, to the one with Zach Galifianakis that reached insane levels of cringe, these are some of Keanu Reeves' most heated interview moments. The actor may be known for his laid-back and humble demeanor, but even he ends up throwing his fans a bit of a curveball sometimes. Like when he almost walked out of an interview with Drew Barrymore, but not because of what you might think. The Matrix star was a guest on the actress's show, which started with the host expressing her excitement at seeing him again. She followed that up with a little story about celebrating her sweet 16. She recalled partying it up at the club when Reeves walked in, grabbed her hand, and dragged her outside for a motorbike ride. Isn't that enough to make any woman swoon? The actor responded with a quiet little, oh my. Oh my. Before Barrymore continued with the anecdote, she said that he drove the bike at warp speed and took her on what she referred to as the ride of her life. And we drove at the warp speed of or my we life. Or something like We that? went and you took me on the ride of my life. And She even said that it was at that moment that she remembered truly loving life and being extremely happy and that she still remembered that feeling because of how hard it is to come by as we get older. This was a pretty vivid and important memory for her, but poor Keanu couldn't seem to recall all the details. He asked about where he took her, and Drew told him it was somewhere down from 3rd Street in Los Angeles, since that's where the club was. But even she couldn't clearly remember where exactly the pair went. But what she did remember was that that was the moment she understood what freedom was. As for the actor, he talked about his version of what he recalls being the most freeing part of his life. Here's exactly what he had to say. I love what happens after someone says action. Roman, I love when what happens after someone says action. Basically, for him, that's where it all starts. And that's where he gets to be in the moment. That's not where he stopped with the memorable quotes. He dropped yet another one that was so good and so profound that he almost walked off the set once he so perfectly delivered it. He said, If you're a lover, you've got to be a fighter. Because if you don't fight for your love, what kind of love do you have? Because if you're a lover, you got to be a fighter. Because if you don't fight for your love, what kind of love do you have? Oof! Mike, drop! It was all silent on set for a bit as everybody took in what he had said, and then the set roared with approval. Even Reeves was blown away by the words that had just come out of his mouth. He just stood up and started walking out of the interview after delivering the line. It was a memorable moment, but not the first time he's had something so profoundly beautiful to say. He's pretty well known for his small acts of kindness and deep words during interviews. For example, a fan once posted a video of him helping out the production crew while filming for John Wick 4 was going on. Then there's that viral clip of his interview with Stephen Colbert, the one where the host asks him what he thinks happens when we die. What do you think happens when we die, Keanu Reeves? The actor takes a few seconds to think before delivering the perfect response. The ones that love us will miss us. I know that the ones who love us will miss us. I'm not crying, you're crying. There's a reason this man's the king of our hearts. But sometimes even kings run out of things to say, which brings me to some not-so-comfortable moments he's had during interviews. It was 2013, and he was being interviewed by Josh Horowitz, an MTV journalist at the Toronto International Film Festival. The clip's old, but has only just resurfaced, thanks to a John Wick fan on Twitter who posted the clip with the caption, Since John Wick is trending, let's just remember Keanu Reeves murdered someone on live TV. Here's how the interview went. Horowitz was questioning the star about Bill and Ted, a comedy franchise in which the actor plays Ted, but he made a major mistake during the interview. He asked Reeves whether he'd be able to bring Bill's voice back when acting in the new sequel to the franchise. Yep, he said Bill. Is Bill's voice going to come back naturally? Is it hard to get back into the actual voice, the cadence of Bill? Keanu calmly replied, I play Ted. I play Ted. The interviewer was understandably mortified. He got up and walked away due to embarrassment. But the actor wasn't going to let him off that easy. As the host was walking off, he said, You just lost all of your cred, dude. That's right. That's what you should do right now. You just lost all of your cred, dude. You, that's right. That's what you should do right now. Even when he's murdering someone, he's polite. It was just a funny interview moment, but one that keeps resurfacing, as one of those rare moments where the Matrix actor roasted someone. 
This next one got a lot more tense, though. Good old Reeves was on Good Morning Britain to promote John Wick for before things turned super awkward. Richard Arnold was the one interviewing him, and he started by asking the actor all about his new film. The awkward moment happened when the host started quizzing him about a stunt from the film, a harmless enough topic, but one that got a response that caused quite a stir online. The host asked the actor whether all the stunts come naturally to him, and made a self-deprecating joke about not even being to reverse park, to which Keanu replied, Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Not exactly anything harsh or mean, but things started getting awkward when Richard admitted to not being able to reverse park because he doesn't own a car. Well, well I don't own a car, so that's probably why, but yeah. His confession made the movie star roll his eyes and look off toward his director, Chad Stahelski. It felt like the moment just wouldn't end until Arnold asked whether the actor was insured and if anyone had been hurt on set. Once again, Keanu made a bit of a face and very dryly said that no one had been injured during the making of the movie. It ties in. No humans were no. harmed in the making we of the And that's what got the internet buzzing. Many people thought that he was the one who made it weird, either because he couldn't imagine people in London not needing a car to get around, or because he just didn't get British humor. Either way, everyone agreed that it was just painful to watch. Maybe it was just a bit of a clash of personalities, and we shouldn't be reading too much into it. You might say the same thing about this next interview with Roman Kemp, but I think this one might be on a new level of cringe, especially when you watch it for yourself. This particular interview even started on a cringe note, probably because the host didn't go about the interview in the most conventional way. It was a montage of all the neutral facial expressions the actor had pulled while being interviewed, and they captioned it. Is this the most awkward interview of all time? Gotta love British humor. Nothing tops this one. Especially when it comes to someone like Reeves, it's pretty hard to come up with situations with him making the people around him uncomfortable. Intentionally, anyway. Unless, of course, you put him on a show like Between Two Ferns. In Between Two Ferns, the movie, there's a bit where he's being mock interviewed by Zach Galifianakis, and the scene goes exactly how you'd expect. It's no secret that everyone loves the actor, except maybe Zack in this movie. During their tense one-on-one, -on -one, the host attacks the actor for his limited vocabulary, small awards collection, and ban. At one point, he even passes some hilarious comments about Hebrew theology. In a truly funny attempt to bring up the actor's religious beliefs, which he is famously tight-lipped about, of course, the whole thing is supposed to be for laughs. It's still pretty funny to see the actor trying to trade insults with someone. So from an interview with Zach Galifianakis that reached insane levels of cringe, to one with Drew Barrymore that made him get up and almost leave, those were some of Keanu Reeves' most heated interview moments.